Anybody's watching this and you're introverted, you're a behind the desk person, you want to step out there, have a great big life, and you're counting yourself out because you don't think you can have it, I'm going to tell you a secret how to get it. Do what others won't. Get freaking uncomfortable. Do it. And you will suck at it. And you're going to get made fun of in the beginning, but then you'll be laughing your way to the freaking bank when all those haters that were ragging on you, right? See you smashing them because you get it down. Yeah. Look, whatever you do and you do a lot, you're going to become good at. That's it. And keep your foot on the gas. In your life, who you view yourself as who you are is all that matters, okay? Let's start out by drowning out the haters, okay? The voice on the inside driving you to be who you want to become and who you know you can be is the voice that matters. No one else's voice matters. This isn't a hype video. This isn't a motivational video. This is the damn truth. You want to become great? Number one, every single person who's successful in this world, every one of them. They were all mocked. They were all ridiculed. They were all laughed at until they laughed their way to the bank. You know why? Because of that inner voice. So number one, what's your inner voice saying? Look at me, you're worth it. You're capable. You are totally worth it. You have to look at me right now and you have to become delusional to believe who you can be starting at this moment forward. generational influence. Who are you setting yourself up to be now so you can tell those stories to your kids when, when you get older, right? Like, and if you've got kids now, if you haven't had that wow story yet, make it now. Like, dude, there's nothing cooler than us telling our kids that we used to be average. And it made us sick. Dad almost threw up. And I looked in the mirror and I knew he deserved better. So a dad went to war. Mom went to war. We sacrificed everything. We had to spend time away from you guys so that we can give you guys a lifestyle that we knew you guys deserved. Guys, I am telling you right now, never finish, never arrive. Keep that chip on your shoulder. If you don't have that chip, you put it on there now. If you have that arrive and arrive feeling, understand this, somebody's gonna do it. Okay, get rid of it. Remember this, make a living out of humble people who doubt you. life. Most of you guys are owned by the damn world. You don't own your life. You're, you're chasing shit. Own your life. Own it. Okay? What you guys do will be the life you create. Okay? Do you want to display your life to the world right now? Do you want to display your freaking year to date to the world right now? Do you want to display your savings account to the world right now? Do you want to take your shirt off to the world and go, come on man, look how disciplined I am. Do you want to display your family and the lifestyle that you've given them? Do you want to display all the things in your life and say, look, I am an example for all of you. Not look at me, I'm great. No, I'm an example to other human beings that we can get it all. Okay, so I'm gonna be a standard son. You know what I'm, you know what pisses me off? Is that some of you right now, you're counting yourself out and you're lazy. You've never thought big, you've never raised your standards, and hey, if somebody on this call doesn't like me right now, if you don't like somebody that positively peer pressures you, you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot when somebody pushes you to have a better life and it pisses you off. How stupid!